Hello, and welcome to Code in 5 Minutes with Zim. I'm Dr. Abstract. Let's go take a look and see what we coded in the last 5 minutes with Zim. It was this soccer ball that we can kick around. That's really cool, but what I'd like to do is make a general targeting system in physics. So we'll maybe get rid of the soccer ball, but let's see how we made this thing. We're in Zim here. We brought in Box2D, which is what Angry Birds was made from, the physics engine. And then here we're using the Zim physics module to massage that into Zim to make it easy, like new physics. And here's a dot add physics. Nice, huh? And then we kick that ball around. All right, let's um, start the timer and see what we can make uh, starting from this position in five minutes. So we're starting the timer. First of all, zero gravity. If we got zero gravity, we see something like this. Open in browser. Zero gravity, isn't that neat? It's like pool. Okay, so if it's like pool, let's make a pool ball instead of a soccer ball. We will say a new circle. We'll make it a black ball of 20. And also we'll click anywhere on the stage rather than, so that's the stage rather than specifically on the ball. That ball is pretty small to be clicking on. So we will say stage mouse down there. And it gets a stage mouse down. We'll reduce the size of this factor here because it's smaller. So that means it, it hits better. And also we've got all this stage stage to, to click on so we can really get back there and, and uh, wing it. So that's pretty good so far. Um, we can make it last longer by going linear. This is the linear damping, 0.3 or something like that. And now when we uh, check it out, you'll, you'll find that it bounces off. And you see how that uh, glide lasts a bit longer? That's nice. You can make it happen even longer by bringing that closer to zero. How about a target? Const target is equal to a new rectangle. And we'll make this 50 by 50. And how about, well, red, not blue, red. It's a good target color. And we will center reg it. So that's important, center reg on the stage um, and dot loc it randomly. So rand stage width, comma, rand stage height. So anything that's in physics needs to be center regged. Speaking of physics, we need to dot add physics. And we will make it stationary. So that is dynamic colon true. This means it won't move when it hits. Uh, shall we see that? There it is. Boom. Ah, it didn't work. So what did we do wrong? Dynamic colon false. <laughs> you should have been going, no, 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 no. That's dynamic false. And now we hit it and it doesn't move. So you saw both cases. Great. How do we know we've hit it? Well, on the ball up here, we can, after we've added physics.contact, run an arrow function. In that arrow function, we get given the object that the ball is contacting. And we can ask if that object is equal to the target, then we can do these things. For instance, we can say target dot visible equals false. And why don't we bring it back a little bit later? So after a time out, a time out of something like 500, we will call this arrow function. And in that arrow function, we will uh, bring that back into view. True, but also in a random place, target dot. And we can't change the Zim object because there's a physics object in behind. You can set the Zim object to start and then add physics. But after the physics is added, the Zim object just follows around the body. So body.x. You're not really supposed to be messing with this. You're supposed to let forces do all this. But anyway, we can we can do it if we really want to. This is a good place to do it. Stage width. And we'll do the same thing in there. Copy v for the target's y position and stage height. Let's see if this comes back once we hit it. There, we hit it, it comes back. We go to hit it again. If we could hit it, <laughs> okay. There, we hit it again and it comes back. All right, see how much fun that game is already? All we need now is an explosion. So const emitter is equal to a new emitter. And this emitter we will start paused. Uh, true. 
Also, what do we want to emit? How about the object that we will emit is a new rectangle. And we'll make that close to the size of the thing in red. So that's almost like the thing that we were doing. Uh, we could probably get rid of gravity on that too, but we're starting pause super. And then down here, when we hit the thing, we will say target dot, oh, no, uh, we will say emitter dot center reg. That centers the registration point, um, but we also then will locate that center reg place at the target's position, target. So we're locating it at the target. Oh, and dot spurting, dot spurt, isn't that fun? Five times or something like that. And we're probably close to pausing that emitter. Let's pause that uh, timer, I mean, <laughs> we'll run this thing. And <laughs> we don't see the emitter, is that fair? Uh, let's see, what was it? The emitter dot center reg at the loc of the target, spurt five. What did we do wrong? Did we get any error? This is like, is this fair or not fair? <laughs> I'm not sure. No error. Why don't we see the emitter? I want to see the emitter. It's gone. Uh, emitter, emitter, emitter. Center reg on the target. Um, we're locate or center regging. We're locating at the target. We're spurting five. That all looks pretty good. It does know where the target is, doesn't it? Yeah, I should know where that is. The emitter is a new emitter. The object is a new rectangle. 40. Oh my god, that's it. It's a rectangle. Does, is that okay? Can we handle that? It's a rectangle. Everything was good. That emitter should have uh, turned up there. Debugging. Does the debugging count in the five minutes? And now let's try this again. <laughs> there we go. Isn't that nice? You see that? Boom! It like it blows it up and it's got all those things. So you can play around here. Oh, just missed. Yeah, I got it. Ah, woohoo! All right. I think um, I'm going to claim that, yeah, that was still made in five minutes. I'm sure in three seconds we could have debugged that if we really wanted to. <laughs> We could have added the comma 40. Is that all right? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you can check out all of this code, including that extra 40 for the rectangle. You can check out all of this code at zimjs.com slash five, F-I-V-E, and see how we made that targeting system in there in five minutes ish. <laughs> I'm Inventor Dan Zen, or Dr. Abstract, out there in the Zim world. Uh, speaking of Zim world, why don't you come on in, zimjs.com slash slack, and hang out with us. Uh, we'd love to see you there. Ciao.